I'm going to break down exactly how I was able to afford a $10,000 gaming setup and buy my first sports car all 100% by myself to show you it's possible and that anyone can do it even at a young age. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you all five of the revenue sources that I've used to get to the point where I am today. I'm going to break down how difficult they are to start and how profitable they are to help you guys work smarter, not harder. If you guys are new here, my name is Jaden. I've been creating tech related content for the past four years. And recently I was able to quit my part-time job and make content my full source of income. As you're watching the video, if you find that you enjoy it or you're finding information from it, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. And with that being said, let's get into it. If we backtrack before I was a teenager, when I was 10 years old, all I could think about was how do I make money? I remember going up to my mom and dad and asking, is there anything I can do around the house? Are there any opportunities that you have for me? What can I do to make money? Obviously, I didn't have my license, so I couldn't drive or even get a job. But I remember just before I turned 12, there was a family in our church who needed some yard work done. And I remember my mom came to me and my older brother and asked me if we wanted to do it. We obviously said, Said yes, this was a huge opportunity for us. This was a chance for my older brother and I to make some money and learn from this experience. The reason I'm sharing with you this story is because it really taught me a lot and opened my eyes on how money is made. This taught me that money is typically made by performing some sort of task or providing some sort of value to someone or something. And that is something that has helped me tremendously over the years when it comes to making money. The first source of income that I had from the early ages of 12 to 15 was lawn care. From a difficulty standpoint, lawn care is a physical job that requires a skill. Fortunately, my dad had taught me how to mow lawns, blow leaves, pick weeds, all that kind of stuff. And it really allowed me to just kind of hop into this job without having to learn it. And if you're wondering whether I use my own equipment, nine times out of 10, I use the people's equipment to do the job. A lot of times though, I would deduct the total price, which would save money for the person paying me and give me a convenience aspect as I didn't have to bring my own equipment. And from a profitable standpoint, lawn care is very profitable. Peak times are summer and chances are lawns need to be mowed one to two times a week. I had a neighbor who I consistently worked with and I would also pick up jobs around my neighborhood and families in my church who I would help out and I made a good chunk of money. Moving on, the second source of income that I had was working your typical fast food job. When I turned 15, I got a job at Chick-fil-A and worked part-time from the ages of 15 to 18. From a difficulty aspect of working a fast food job, when it comes to getting hired, that's not a problem. I thought it would be some scary interview where they would trick me with questions, but they really just want you to work for them. And there would be times after I got the job where I would see people get hired on the spot. Now, I will say the biggest drawback to fast food is the environment. From dealing with angry customers who cussed me out and trying to de-escalate a situation while dealing with three other people was extremely stressful, especially when I was 15 years old. I learned a lot from this experience and I always recommend that people work at least maybe one year of fast food because it teaches you a lot. From a profitable standpoint, the pros are you're gonna make consistent income, which is perfect if you like that. The cons are, unless you're trying to rank up maybe to become a manager or something like that, you're really not gonna get paid much more. The next source of income that I'm going to to separate into different parts is content creation. I started content when I was 15 years old and it was always my part-time side hustle. I started my YouTube channel first before I started anything else. From a difficulty standpoint, YouTube is not hard to start at all. All you need is a phone and that's really it. People overcomplicate that they have to compete with all the big YouTubers with the thousand dollar camera setups, audio setups, a whole editing team. No, you really don't need anything fancy. There are so many successful YouTubers that literally film all their content directly on their phone. From a profitability standpoint, point, YouTube definitely takes a good amount of time to actually make your first paycheck. When I started years back, the monetization requirements were significantly lower, but right before I was able to meet them, they changed them to what they are now. And from a money-making aspect of YouTube, in simple terms, whenever you put ads on your video as a monetized creator, you get paid depending on how many people watch your video, which obviously fluctuates on where you live, but YouTube can be a very profitable source of income. Fourth on the list is going to be streaming or Twitch streaming in general. I've been a streamer for almost four years and I've learned so much through that four years of streaming. From a difficulty standpoint, when it comes to starting up, I feel like streaming is super subjective when it comes to that point. To me, all you really need is a camera and a mic and you're good to go. But streaming equipment is expensive. And especially when you're a startup streamer, it can hard to get noticed if you just have bad gear. Let's be honest, nobody's gonna wanna sit and watch your stream if you have bad quality audio. Not to mention of all the revenue sources I've had, it is the most inconsistent. But the thing that I still struggle with to this day as somebody who still has Twitch being a main source of income is I never know what to expect. So you may have those really, really good months, and then you may have a month where you make literally nothing. Final source of income, and that's brand deals, sponsorships, and promotions. This is single-handedly the most profitable out of all the sources of income that I've listed in this video. To break it down, companies pay me to promote their products in either YouTube videos, TikToks, or Instagram Reels. But the difficult part is you have to have a following or some sort of influence to even have that chance. And this took me three and a half years to even get my first opportunity. But as I've 
continued to stay consistent and continued to grow, I've been able to receive products and receive payment on top of that. And it blew my mind when I got paid for the first time wow, I can make a good amount of money. Legally, I'm not allowed to say exactly how much I got paid. If you essentially think of it this way, for every 10,000 followers, they typically get paid $100. So if you do the math, if you have 100,000 followers on TikTok, you're probably getting paid $1,000 per post. Then again, it also depends on the type of niche the creator is in, what product they're getting sent out, the negotiation. So there are so many variables. I'll briefly mention the sixth source of income that I have that I don't really think is that crazy. It's affiliate marketing. And essentially, whenever I promote a product, I sign up for an Amazon Associates account I take a link from Amazon, I put it in my video description, and whenever somebody clicks on that link, buys that product, or buys something else within the next 24 hours, I make a small commission. And the profitability side of it isn't too crazy as you're getting a very small percentage, and it seems that Amazon and other affiliate companies just keep cutting that percentage every single month. But that pretty much sums up the five different sources of income that I've had from almost ages 12 to 19 years old. So for all the aspiring streamers, creators, YouTubers, whatever it may be, be patient. Making money, especially online, takes time, persistence, and patience. It took me over a year, let alone three years, to even be able to make enough money to even pay for the normal things that I was paying for with my part-time job. But with that being said, I hope you guys went on to enjoy this video. This is easily my most highly requested video to make, and I thought I'd sit down, script the past years of my life, and try to explain it to you guys to help you guys if you're trying to do something like I'm doing myself. Also, if you'd like to, feel free to tune into one of my Twitch streams. I try to build a more personal connection with my my viewers and if you have any other questions feel free to ask them over on my twitch stream i love answering them and giving any sort of feedback that i can With that being said thank you again for watching this video and i will catch you guys in the next one